New Weekday Reports continues next, only on RHN. Weeksville was one of the first African-American towns founded in the United States and it played a very important role in Brooklyn, New York's history, and New York's history from the early, from about the 19th century to the early 20th century. But as Crown Heights became more populated, it slowly faded into its, and its surrounding neighborhoods slowly faded into what is now Crown Heights and Best Eye. But recently, this historic place has undergone a revival, so we're going to see just what's happening over there. After riding a B44 up New York Avenue, we hopped on board a speedy B45 through Crown Heights until we arrived at St. Mark's Place in Buffalo Avenue. Then it was only a short walk up the street until we made it to the Heritage Center. Right now we're waiting for the official tour of the Hunterfly Road houses, which will be in a little while. But in the meantime, I think it's time I got you up to date on Weeksville. See, Weeksville was founded in 1838 by a numerous amount of investors, the most notable of which was John Weeks, for whom the town is named. He purchased this land from a man named Henry C. Donovan, uh, apologies if I get the names wrong, and decided to build a town on his land. Over the course of the 19th century, and even into the earliest 20th century, uh, the town of Weeksville expanded, along with other neighborhoods like Bedford Hills and, uh, I believe, Bedford Hills and the growing town of Bedford Stuyvesant. For a while, it was a very, it was a highly African American town and a sanctuary for African Americans who were fleeing places like Manhattan, which at the time of the Civil War and um, the abolishment of slavery had huge riots. But over time, Weeksville started to fade into the background, along with the surrounding neighborhoods, into what is now Bed-Stuy and Crown Heights. So we'll get to know a little bit more about the history of this historic place soon. But for now, it's just a bit more waiting. The tour is starting now, and we're heading down towards the Hunterfly Road houses, which would be one of the main streets of Crown Heights back in the 1830s. So let's say hi.
this report was mostly pictures. I had a great time exploring all the houses. As you probably saw earlier, the houses from three epochs of Brooklyn's history. My favorite, personally, was the 1930s with the near-modern technology. Still, it's very good that people like the Weeksville Historical Society are bringing the history of a lost and forgotten town back to life. Hopefully, if there are lost artifacts in the community, then maybe you could help bring them back to life, too. Places like these are dedicated to that. Well, well reporting for the week, Day Report, I'm Neil Baptiste. We'll see you next time. Have a good one, and keep preserving history. Watching back-to-back -back new weekday reports. And be sure to catch the season finale of the weekday report, July 3rd. Only on our HN.